Let's install Brizzy and again, just like before, see how quickly you can build something out with it. We have to go back into WordPress, click on the W and that takes us into the back end. And Brizzy is a plugin, something that you plug into this WordPress that you can use to enhance your experience. Think of it as apps on your phone. If you click on plugins, you may have some plugins already installed. This all happens depending on the host you are using. Many of them install this before the time. Hello Dolly is often there. Let's leave them there so we don't get sidetracked on it. But what we want to do is bring in the Brizzy plugin, Page Builder. To do that, go here and click on Add New. And then just like before, go to the search part and search for Brizzy. Brizzy appears here on the left, Brizzy Page Builder, and same procedure like before. Click on Install Now, which will install it first into your WordPress framework so that you can use it. But it is not activated yet. Now go ahead and click on Activate. Once you activate it, Brizzy will now become part of your work environment and you can use it. And note here under the plugins, that it appears over here and that you also have the option to go pro and use the premium version. We don't need that for this tutorial, even though the pro has some super awesome features, we're not gonna need that here. So what does this mean for us? Let's go back to that page that we've created pages and my first try and select it. And there is only basically one small change on this entire page and can you spot it? Three, two, one. Yes, it's this button up here that says Edit with Brizzy. Once you click this button, Brizzy will replace the WordPress editor as the content that should display on the front end. Let me say that again. This is the current WordPress block editor content that we've seen here. Once I click Edit with Brizzy, Brizzy is going to become the default editor move what is this thing called the wordpress block editor away so this content will disappear it may still appear on this page but it will not appear on the front end let me show you how that's going to happen so first click on edit with brizzy and everything is going to change there is spinning wheels of brizzy in the middle and what it is doing it is loading the brizzy page builder and your whole world changes, complete new user interface, everything looks different. Go to the tab with the front end still open and let's click here on refresh and see if anything has changed. And it has changed. And the reason for that is because there's nothing here. This page is completely empty. Hence, my Lord, this page is also empty. Let me show you how you quickly build up. There it is, start building your page, Bob. Click there and it opens a block manager. This is like many of the things that you've seen on many of the apps. It gives you these templates ready to use. You don't have to think, you don't have to be a massive designer. You can just go ahead and click on them and it drops onto the page like this one. Let's choose the first one, which should be the same for you. Click on it. And this is also called a block. So the block drops onto the page and you can see this area. This is the block. And we have image here and then we have text here. And then there is a sign up little form here. Just like in WordPress, every time you make a change to your page and you want it to reflect on the front end, you need to save it. So we do that by going here to the bottom right hand corner where it says update. Similar to WordPress, you have a shortcut key, Control S, Command S. And then to preview it, you can simply click next to it here on preview. And there's also a shortcut key for that, Control Shift B, Command Shift B. I use that all the time. But instead of doing this, let's just go to the tab here that is currently still open. And I will reload this page to show you that block is being broadened. How awesome. Beyond splendid. So how do you make this block yours? Hover over this heading text and you can see there's a little bounding box. Click in it and you see your cursor appears there. You can go ahead and select the text. You can also use a shortcut key like Control A, Command A and type in my first web page. And then just click outside. Look at that, you've changed it. Let's go to the next text here. 
I'll triple click to select all the text. And I'll just show you this little quick tip. Whenever you click on it, you just put the cursor there. If you double click, you select the word. But if you triple click one, two, three, you select the entire paragraph. I have always wanted to become the master of my domain. Seinfeld. <coughs> right. And then we can do the same here at this top. I'll triple click to select it all and I'll put it on caps. New, uh, new exploration, exploration for me every day. How about changing the image? Click on the image and you see again, we have a little toolbar. Go all the way to the left. And here next to image, you see there is the image. So what you do is you click on that to delete it and then you select and it opens up our media library for us. This tab says upload files. It will always be clean, but you can also access the current library on your disk already. So if I click on media library, what do you expect to see? Wow. Remember that image we brought in? Every time you bring an image into WordPress, even if it's a page builder, WordPress is going to put it nicely in the library in case you want to use it later. So why not use it now? Click on it until you see the check mark. And then in the bottom right corner, click on select. And there we go. That image is brought in as well. Let's save it. You remember Control S, Command S, or go to the bottom right hand corner. And this time, Let's go ahead and click on this preview. This is not a great image, doesn't have great resolution, but at least you understand how you can do this. If you go back into Brizzy, now you build out the rest of the page. Click here on add a new block. And on the left, you will see we have categories. I can choose, let's say features. I want to talk more about my services or my products. Oh, here's a nice one over here on the right. I'll select it. And it drops that block below the one that we've just created. And you see now we have little icons. We have all these four features or services that we can add here. We just changed the text out like I've shown you earlier. Let's bring in another block. This time, let's talk about a gallery, images. I'll select gallery, but our website is becoming a little bit boring. Everything is just a white background. So how about putting it on dark? You see here under styles, light, dark, and it's going to give us dark alternatives. Before I drop in, just note the pro, right? You understand how that works. Pro means you cannot use it. If you want it, you have to pay for it. We're going to stick with the free stuff. So let's use this one here. You can choose any of these. And now let's just save our page so that you can just have a look at how this is displaying on the front end. What is in here? Why we don't see an image here? Control S, Command S. And we click here on the preview. It opens another tab with another preview. So you can close these two. This is the one we did. OK, there is that image. And look how quickly we are building out this page. Should give you goosebumps by now. A few more features here. Let's go back into the Brizzy Builder. I want to take this block here, the image gallery, and I want to actually put it between these two blocks. To move it, go to the sidebar on the left, and then second from the top, you will see it says reorder blocks. Click on it, and it opens this panel generating thumbnail previews of each and every block. So very nice visual. Go to this block, drag to reorder. So click, hold, and drag it up one. Hey, very, very nice. And in case you've made a mistake, you don't like the block that you've brought in like this one over here. The block have settings that you access by going to the top right corner of the block where you see this little settings icon, select it. And from the right, just click delete and it has removed that block. Now you go back to the block manager by adding a new block. Let's bring in some more text. This time I'll put it back on light. And let's go with this one with the number of features again, just the names, the days of the week, minus which one, minus Monday. All of this is good and well using these pre-made blocks, but it is actually extremely important that you know how to build from scratch. Why? Because when you start making changes to many of these pre-made blocks, you're not going to always understand how that 
was made and when you try and put in your own stuff, it's going to get very glitchy. And that is why you need to know how to build from scratch. So though we've built out everything by ourselves, let's begin building from scratch. We'll use a few pre-made blocks as well so that you can get used to it and begin building out our page for our website exactly the way we want to.